So I decided let's do a head to head comparison. This is going to be a comparison. I wouldn't call this a contest. And then I was thinking, you know what? Who else built a saw about that same era, about the same size? But the main difference between the two is the home lights read, and this other one is piston ported. But they're about the same size, right? So what do you say? What do you say we do a little comparison with this Mac 1010? It's pissed imported. It's about the same size. It's about the same era. Why not? Now, if you're going to ask why I chose the Mac 1010, because that's what I have. I think it's going to be a, a pretty decent comparison, don't you? Which one do we like better, you know? Which one's going to do better in the end, you know what I mean? I don't know if this is a viable saw, though. It's just been sitting on the shelf. I, I, I have no idea. So let's do a quick compression test. Check for spark. Let's just kind of get an idea of where we're at here on this saw. I know the home light's good to go. Let's get this spark plug out. That spark plug's in there. Ooh, holy cow. Take a look at this. You see that? That spark plug's almost new. I don't even know if it's ever been ran. Somebody must have changed the plugs trying to get it run. Let's check for spark first. Let me pull it down. Let's see if you can see it. So watch in. You see it? If there's barely any spark at all. Or it's barely making that glow. So it's weak spark. That just tells me I've probably got a points issue. See what kind of compression we got. Where are we? Right around one hundred and forty, just shy of one hundred and forty. Probably like 139. I think we're good. How about you? I think as long as there's no major scoring or nothing, I think we can move forward. How about you? Let's take a look at the carburetor first. You know, if I fix the spark on this, I bet you it would run. This carburetor looks like it's been off and uh, rebuilt. Let me see if I can get the diaphragm. See, how, how, see if it'll move. Diaphragm moves real easy. So let's see if we can fix the spark and get this thing running. And then we'll go from there. How about that? And I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to do this in the Super XL Auto. And if this works out good, why don't we do the 360 and compare it? We'll compare it to the uh, Pro Max 610. That'll be that should be pretty fair for a pretty close comparison. They're both piston ported. I think our big difference between these two is going to be the difference between uh, uh, piston ported and reed. 
where the other two are going to be piston ported. Both. Boy, these screws are in there. So we're probably gonna have some work to do here, don't you think? Look at that mess. You see that? Look at that mess. How long do you think it's been since this was tore apart and cleaned? It's even up in here. Just got this. One side's nine sixteenths and the other side's three quarters, if I remember correctly. Let's see if we can get this flywheel off. Let's see if we can get this nifty tool we just picked up to do it. Look at that. Very little effort. Popped right off. One flywheel. They definitely look a bit dirty. What do I have? I have some memory cloth over here. Let's see if that made a difference. <clears throat> Let's hook our spark tester back up and see what happens. Okay. Let's see if we got a change in spark now. We got spark. Good, good spark now. I'm seriously looking at this like, I think we can get it to fire. The diaphragm felt good. What do you think? Should we try it? Of course we should, right? Okay, this is all rattly. We don't want to lose anything here. We might need to take some of this off and just leave it off. Clutch is ready to come off. You ready to go? Let's see if she'll fire. Everything's done. I'm just going to put some gas in it and see if she takes off from here. Alrighty, let's see what happens. I'm shaking that camera everywhere, aren't I? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so as you can tell, it's dark out here. So as long as I get the pop, that's as far as I'm going to go. Okay, I'm not going to let it run very long. Maybe a half a second is all I'm going for. Got choke on. It's on. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. That's all it took. A little uh, fouling of the points to get it to, to pop like that. We do have a new issue though. We got a fuel leak. Let me show you. Okay. Leaking fuel right here. 
like a seam. It looks like somebody had it apart and siliconed it, and it's leaking. So we'll have to make a repair here. But other than that, see popped. I bet you I can get it to go tune up and cut wood. I bet you could. So we might do that next. What do you think? That way we can see the Mac 10 10 run before, you know, before we get into that comparison. So, pretty happy. We got a run in Mac 10 10, or almost, almost run in 10 10. She pops. Mac 10 10 automatic. It's about the same air as the Super XL, about. So. I think that's what we're gonna end up doing now. I think we're gonna do them both. But already, there's a little Mac 10 10 quick pop. It took minutes to fix. See you on the next one. Alrighty, later.